I am Sir Tap Tap. There's once again an event in Abyssrium Pull. So the way they stagger events, Abyssrium Pull kind of gets an event the last week of a month, and then regular Abyssrium gets their event um, usually the first week of the following month. So expect possibly a new event. Um, the anniversary event may continue. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, possibly a new regular Abyssrium event soon. But some other events, um, this is the usual event stuff. No hidden fish. Pull, pull is so boring. But um, there were some other, a few changes into this, um, in this update. Um, there's a, oh god, I hate how everything drags your camera around in pull. Um, there's two new fish that are totally free. Um, you'll get them just basically instantly upon opening the game. Um, the explorer penguin and the detective penguin. Um, you just get them. I, I, I think one of them is supposed to be a daily reward, but just basically you instantly get it. So as far as I know, you'll just instantly get those the moment you open up the game. The, the event should be out for everybody. They added a new viewing angle, which everyone hated before. This one that hides all of the fish. <laughs> Why would you want to see the fish in a game? About, about fish. That's stupid. Why would anyone do that? Stupid crap. But you can press this and you can get the old view back this way. So I guess it's better than just only having the one view, but I still don't get why we would do this. I, I think the, the point is to supposed to emphasize, oh, you can see the land, but 90% of the land, well, 70% of the land isn't really visible here. You gotta like look like this. It really feels like the game was designed for widescreen for like, you know, landscape orientation, and they just didn't go through with it. And then we have just this, and you can't see almost anything. So what a weird thing. Um, but yes, it is a myth, Greek myth event. And you'll notice the fish don't have anything to do with Greek myths. So let's just look at the fish. Juvenile French angelfish. Many Greek legends are spoken about the, the a a angelfish. I mean, angels are, are mythical, so angelfish. Um, level 400 iceberg, tap 15 times. You'll get this without even realizing, basically. Tap 15 times during myth event. Arabian angelfish, own three juvenile French angelfish in myth event. So just buy, uh, as always, buy fish, watch ads. Those are the only two unlocks. Those are really the only two unlocks. So you have to own three juvenile French angelfish, um, watch the free ads, watch the pearls ad. So, and anything that says in X event, you have to select events, right? So if I pick this, this event is active, which is silly because I have completed that event. So just make sure that this event is selected here. Events and pull do not expire. Events and pull don't even feel like events, I have to say, frankly. Since the, the, the customization stuff costs huge amounts of pearls, and I don't have huge amounts of pearls, I never get to look at things. We do at least get this free, you do get a free die, finally. You get this meadow die. It has nothing to do with. It has nothing to do with the event. It's just a random free thing that was included in the same update. But uh, yeah. Also, you'll notice these little jerks walking around. There's a stupid pelican that I think gives you items. And there's this man over here who um, is just the event thing. I think this guy gives you the. Um, he's like the male. He's the male bird basically. He gives you the the meadow thing. And presumably when new stuff, stuff comes in the, yeah, he replaces the mail icon that was up here. So if there's free pearls, he'll show you. So it's just, it's to make it a little more inter interactive, I guess. But yeah, so back to the fish. Diamond butterfly fish. Own three Arabian angel fish in myth event. Again, buy fish, watch ads. That's all there is. Uh, get free vitality watching, you know, watch the ad two times to get free vitality. That's, that's all the unlocks are going to be. I really miss... They really don't know how to do interesting unlocks. I really hope that's addressed in Abyssrium World. And yes, there's going to be a third Abyssrium game, so... This is probably going to be about it as far as updates for Pole. I think there'll be more events, but I don't think there's going to be any major gameplay changes. Because Abyssrium World was already announced. I have a video on it. So check that out. Um, own three Diamond Butterfly Fish. Skill Recharge two times in Myth Event. Again, buy fish. Watch ads. Only thing. That's the only thing. Only thing you can do. Um, Arabian Oryx. Own four kangaroo rat. Own 16 myth event fish. 
uh, friends. They're friends now, by the way. They're friends, not food. Um, everything, it used to be creatures, fish, blah, blah, blah. Now it's, um, just, it's always friends. Which I don't mind, but I wish they would stop changing it. They also have, they also added, the, the UI did get a little bit of an upgrade. You can kind of see how many fish you have owned and put out. You can see how many times you've interacted with fish, because sometimes you need to take pictures, sometimes you need to tap the bubble. So that is a welcome change. Um, I just wish they would port these updates, these UI updates, back to regular Abyss Room. Um, that would be nice. Greek tortoise. Buy fish. Watch ads. Again. Own five Arabian Oryx in Myth Event. Skill recharge ten times, which again, let's watch an ad during the Myth Event. Uh, I also like that they added these these rarity tiers. Rare and unique for the creatures. Uncommon. They don't mean anything. They, they, there's never been any kind of gameplay that, that made that a thing. Unique? It's never been anything. It's like they, they had ideas for this game and they just didn't do anything. But whatever. Hummelin Mirror Ray. Own five Greek Tortoise in Myth Event. Get free Vitality 30 times. Open Treasure Chest. Again, buy fish. Watch ads. Watch ads. So 30, the free vitality 30 times, that will take you a fair while. Um, that's, you need to watch 30 of those ads, 30 I think skill recharge ads. Uh, ultimately like, more like 50 I guess. Um, and that'll basically do you actually. Um, and 3 pearl ads. So, heavy side dolphin, own 5 homely mirror ray, buy fish, watch ads, watch ads. <laughs> Uh, three pearls three times during myth event. Uh, use bird chorus 25 times, which again, that's basically, you'll get that while doing the skill recharge ads for the other fish. The booby, the blue-footed booby. Absolutely epic meme of a creature. Look at him. Even if its name wasn't booby, like, look at it. Incredible. I love this guy. Um, glad to have him. Welcome aboard, sir. Um, own five heavy side dolphin. Own 20 mammals, so just buy... Which were even mammals? Basically need to buy 20 kang uh, 10 kangaroo rats and 10 Ar Arabian oryx will do you there. Um, and then you need to use Whale's Blessing 30 times, which, again, you'll do because of the skill recharge adds. Because for the Morpho Menelas, you need to well, skill recharge 30 times anyway. Absent Vitality 10 times, that's very easy. Um, own 9 species of Myth Event Fish, which again, I don't know why they bother with unlocks like that. Uh, if you'll notice, every single fish here requires that you own the previous fish. So it's completely linear, it's completely boring. Um, if you get stuck watching ads, as you can see I'm stuck here watching these ads, I can't skip around. There's nothing There's nothing you can do like that. So, again, I hope Abyssrium World isn't like this, it's so boring. Baby Lamb, there it is. There it is, there's the one everyone wants. It's cute, it's fluff, it's got croissant horns, what more do you want? Um, own five Menfo Mentalis. Again, buy fish, wants ads. All there is. Own 80 Myth Event friends. So that's that's the usual thing. You have to own 80 fish. Which, poll, I generally recommend only playing while you're doing events because I'm trying to get the Bride Whale, right? And it's going to take so incredibly long and I have to make so many duplicate fish that I may as well wait for the events to have a reason to create fish. Which I do not have because I can like, oh... I need to make 80 fish, so I gotta do stuff and blah blah blah. But, um, yeah. So, that's pretty much the un- Oh, 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 they added, um, well, there's new in-app purchases because obviously. So there's the Scottish Fold Cat that costs money. It does not require, it's not required for anything else. Um, as always. There is also the new cosmetic items, which like I said, they're so expensive. And they don't even change much. It's just purple. It's just purple plants, which I don't remember any purple plant myths. Um, there's dark sky. Oh, it crashed. Thanks. Well, <laughs> great. Um, there's the dark sky, and then there's the, the, the costume, which barely is anything. I really don't like the events in Pole. I'm sure you've gathered that by now, but because the, um, the theming items are so expensive, I don't get to dress up my stuff. I don't get to pretend that I'm actually playing an event. And the event creatures don't feel like they're part of an event either. Um, they don't... Like I said, nothing was actually a Greek legend in any of those fish. 
None of that looked like a Greek interesting thing. Here's the Greek myth iceberg. Look, look, that's all there is. 1,500 pearls for that. Now, I've been playing pretty actively and I have like two or three pearl creatures and I have only 800 pearls left. Those are so expensive. These shoes cost like a hundred pearls, frankly. And the, 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 the discount is only for 20% and only for the creatures in that event. So it doesn't even have a permanent boost. It doesn't even, it's not even very good. It, it's, it's, it sucks. Ugh. And also one thing that does not suck as much, um, you can watch ads to get these creation tickets. So you can just basically make a, f um, a friend, a creature without um, vitality, I guess. So this, this is basically an escape hatch for some, at some points in the game, you get stuck and you can't make any fish and it makes the game boring because hey it's a game about fish and you can't make fish that means no game right so now you can just watch an ad to get a fish directly i assume it still raises the cost of the fish i haven't watched the ad yet because i'm so tired of watching ads and i don't really have a need for it but um i think that's all right i think that's an that's an all right kind of thing uh, i don't mind that as much as the other things i've been complaining about i just really I would say my biggest problem with the events, they don't feel like events at all. Do, do, do you look, just look at my, look at my tank right now. I have progressed halfway through the, the tank. Do you see evidence that I am playing a Greek event? Do you see evidence of Greek myths? Let me just, you know, give you the moon. Do you see any Greek anything? No, <laughs> this, this is, it is so weird. The, the, the events don't feel like they're things at all. I get that they're money grubbing. I get that they want you to buy a bunch of pearls and spend like $50 every event just to buy crap. But like, no, you got to make the game fun first. And then I'll think about spending money. The, the game has to be engaging first. Ugh. Anyway, that's the Abyssrium Pole event. <laughs> I'm sure you can tell. I'm not a big fan of it, and I'm kind of, frankly, a little bit glad that Abyssrium Pole is going to be dead soon. Because Abyssrium Worlds, I can't imagine they fully support three games. And Abyssrium Pole has never really been fully supported. It always felt like a weird afterthought. That should have just been its own tank in regular Abyssrium, right? I, I, I don't feel like it ever should have been its own thing. Um, I do like the UI changes, mostly. I do have some problems with the UI, but that's mostly just bad coding, not, you know, anything specifically bad about it. Um, but yeah, that's that's your event, no hidden fish, which again, that's so boring. The whole reason we talk to each other, we go online and we watch videos about this game, is because of the hidden fish. And if there's not going to be any hidden fish, there's not any community left. There's no reason to go out and talk to people. And that sucks. I, I met a lot of cool people playing this game, talking about the hidden fish and stuff. I, I've met a lot of people giving me information about the hidden fish, and that's all gone now. Now we just get brand new players asking me questions I've heard a thousand times over and over again. I just have to tell them, hey, there's a guide. Which, just to let me kvetch for a moment. If you know to ask me a question about a mysterium, you have to know that I made a guide. You have to know that. There is absolutely no possible way anyone could ever think to randomly ask me, of all people, a question about Abyssrium without knowing, hmm, this guy makes guides uh, for Abyssrium. That's why I'll ask him a question. The thing is, literally a hundred people have probably asked me that same question. And you know what? I put it in the guide. That's why when people say, can I ask you a question, Tyler? Can I ask you a question? Was it in the guide? Because seriously, I would say 95% of the time when people ask me a question, it was explicitly put in the guide. And if you just Google, like someone asked me about um, the, what was it? The the Seahorse Theater. So I'm gonna go to Google. Sir Tap Tap, Seahorse Theater. You can't see it cause I'm doing, it's a different menu. Um, it's a different window. Oh, Sir Tap Tap Fish Anniversary Tank Event Guide. And then Seahorse, I misspelled seahorse. That's how <laughs> frustrated I am. Seahorse theater. Oh, it's it's part of this. You got to do this this event quest, and it's all right here in a guide. Which again, I try not to get mad at people asking questions. I'm not mad at anyone in particular. 
If you ask a question, I get snippy. I'm sorry. But the thing is, it's not any one person. It's that I get dozens of these over the same thing. Always. And to ask, you have to know that I make guides. You have to know that. There's no reason anyone would ever just randomly ask somebody if they didn't expect that they knew that. So use the guide, please. <laughs> I make them for a reason. That's right, Parker. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hi, Parker. Parker is like, tap, tap, you need to end the video now. And I agree. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you next event. I am, I'm so done with bowl. I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> Um, can't wait for Abyssinium World. I hope it's not terribly mismanaged like Pole was. Um, but I don't have much reason <laughs> to suspect it won't be. I, I, don't, I don't like that the game... I don't like... I, I do... I will say. I don't like that when these games are bad. I'm not one of those, you know, rage gamer types. I don't get off on games being bad. I don't... I, I derive no pleasure from talking about this game being bad. Um, I don't get any extra views because of that either. I don't... People don't watch me to, people don't, you know, want me to scream at stuff. I don't get hate watchers and stuff. I want the game to be good. Abyss Rim Pull sucks and it gets one tenth the views. I shouldn't even be talking this long just because the game isn't worth it, frankly. I just don't even get the views. The game's not worth it. I want the game to be worth it. I want the game to be good. I want people to enjoy it. But they just suck at everything. And it's really frustrating. But. I hope a mystery world comes out, and I hope we can all enjoy it. I hope this video helped, and uh, see you later. Join our Discord, by the way. SirTypeDab.com slash Discord.